feel like I should just do this before I even think about it. You should. Today I'm gonna try something I have never tried before. <laughs> In our five years in Mexico, what is it that you have not tried? Something super typical for here in Verona, ceviche. You have never had ceviche? I have never had ceviche. I, I made some like canned tuna and put it on some salad, but I don't feel like that counts. I don't think that counts. Well, that'll change today. What do you think the chances uh, of us being on the correct bus are? I give it 50% yes, 50% no. I think no matter where we're going, we're going, gonna get there fast. This guy is, uh... I'm not end up a 50 y'all. Rapido y furioso. El Tomito, but we're gonna get there fast. <laughs> now, you've never had ceviche. Why? True. Give us, you need, we need a reason for this. I don't really enjoy seafood, but today I'm gonna try it for you. I don't know what there is that I haven't tried in Mexico. I'm sure that there are some things. But comment below, let me know what I should try uh, that you think I've never eaten before. I will I will eat, I will try. Eat almost implies I have to eat the whole thing. I will, no, I'll eat. I will eat whatever gets oh. the most comments, the most frequently uh, commented food item. You're opening a can of worms there. See what I did? Yes. <laughs> that that's like a normal Mexican food, not not like it can't be something yeah made up, but like a normal Mexican dish. Oh boy! I'll try it today. Speaking of things we've never tried, we're going to a restaurant we have never tried. Yeah. La Mara, ceviche, agua chile, agua, agua chile, agua chile, agua chile res, restaurante. Restaurant. Restaurant. Let's check it out. This is this is confusing. The kinetic curse is upon us. Yet again, it says open, abierto, we accept visa, but today, I don't think they accept cash or card. Well, you said they probably actually don't accept visa, there's Hello? probably cash only. <laughs> Go to the employee entrance. Day saved. That was almost day ruining. That was, you know, I don't even want to say this out loud, but I feel like the kinetic curse of places being closed hasn't happened in a while, and I kind of started to be like, well, we're kind of like do a kinetic curse day, yeah. you know? Yeah, luckily they have, they kind of have a little location. Maybe they're not as busy for like lunch hour, and we're eating well before the normal lunchtime in Mexico. <laughs> yes, it's only one, it's like one o'clock, and lunchtime in Mexico is like five. Yeah. Three, four. Eh, la diferencia entre aguachiles y ceviches es aguachiles con camarones. Sí, claro, este es con camarón y estos son con pescado y a partir de aquí son con atún. Okay. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. I feel like I have so many questions. I feel like such a newbie noob. <laughs> like, how many tostadas are normal? My guess is One? two or three. Two? I feel like however many bread would you eat, I feel like I need You probably like eat one and, and a half, I bet. One and a half, okay. Para mí, una tostada de vallarta. Y también una de manzana de vegano. Manzana de vegano. Manzana de vegano. That's a lot of food. Are you hungry? I am. <laughs> I'm just talking one over. I am. So hungry, but first I'm gonna take you guys on a mini tour of what we've ordered. First, this is the most typical, most common type of ceviche. It's called ceviche. Here in Vallarta, at least. Yeah, um, Vallarta. It has like molido, how do you say that? Like ground fish. This is cooked, but sometimes it's like in cubes with just lime. Yeah. Um, this one's actually cooked, but this is the most typical. This comes with uh, cucumber, onion, cilantro, carrot, and serrano. Did I say avocado? It's got avocado. Tambien. This is Spanglish. <laughs> okay, next up. This, that one is yours and then this one's yours as well? No. Nope. No. Nope. Okay, sorry. And then I'm trying a vegan one, which I won't bore you guys with, but a vegan one 
Um, it's pretty cool. They can make anything vegan. They just add quinoa instead of the meat. So I'm trying the typical traditional de Vallarta and then a vegan one. The portion sizes are huge. I think I should have just gone with one. More interesting, Greg has three different, three different ones, three different types of meat. First, we have the manzana. This has tilapia in cubes that's not cooked, uh, excuse me, cooked with limes <laughs> as they do here. And let's see, green apple, jicama, um, avocado, and serrano. That looks super good. I think one, one of the things I'm most excited about to try ceviche is how fresh it is. I feel like this is perfect when it's really, really blazing hot outside. This is like perfect. Greg loves tuna. This one has tuna. This is the... Which one is this, Greg? Uh, that one is the tartar. Tartar. This has tuna, cucumber, onion, peanuts, um, sweet, like a sweet soy sauce, um, ginger, sesame seeds, and I think that's it. That. Oh, man, that smells like kind of Asian-y, like with the soy sauce. That one looks really good. Last but certainly not least, this one is an aguachile, which means it has shrimp. This one is the aguachile negro. This has salsas negras, black sauces. <laughs> um, chile morita, habanero, y cilantro. This one has two pepper signs, which means it's going to be the spiciest on the table. Also very fresh. Time has come, my friends. The time has come. Part of the problem is with trying new things is like, I don't know how to do it. I think you just put it on the tosada, right? I don't know. I feel like normally it comes on the tosada. I thought that too, actually. Oops. I'll just decorate the whole tosada for you guys. That looks delicious. You're gonna put some salsa on that? Are you sure? Here goes nothing. You ready for this? <laughs> wow. It's <laughs> a lot. I don't know if that's a good wow. <laughs> or a good wow or a bad wow. First uh first reactions. What's it flavor wise? What sticks out? Lime. Lime. Lime and fish. Fishy lime, limey fish. That's, it's really cold and refreshing and that I love. I don't like the taste of fish. So unsurprisingly, I don't love it because I feel like I would really just love this without the fish. I should have gotten the fish on the side. I think you should try my tuna one, just a bite of it. Of course. Personally, I think there's almost nothing better in life than a good, fresh, so we're just gonna try just a little bit on the tostada or no? Just, just Sure, yeah, I'll give it Just like mine. a little bit, just to have the crunch with it as well. That way she has, because it doesn't taste fishy, but we'll see if she doesn't like it. She's tried it. I feel like I should just do this before I even think about it. You should. <sighs> where it's at. I don't even know where the tuna went. <laughs> like I know I got a chunk of it. And it's more so that I don't necessarily not like raw fish. It's that I don't like the idea of eating raw fish. You know, right. does that make any sense? That does make a lot of sense. That's really good. This is the one I think with like, maybe. Kind of tastes almost like Asian-y. Mm -hmm. With the crunch of the cucumber and onion in there. That one's pretty good. That one's pretty good. So you might I, would eat that again, but not the other one. I don't like the way the fish tastes on the other one. I'm sorry, I know I can't be a true pata salada if I don't like ceviche de vallarta. What'd you call that? Vallarta, ceviche, ceviche. Ceviche vallartense. Yeah, exactly. I don't know if I can really be one, but maybe this will buy me some street cred. <laughs> Now, I haven't tried mine yet, but it's Hillary already has hers ready, so I'm just gonna give it a try and see. You know, we don't need, I don't need a lot of 
ceviche here because Hillary doesn't really eat seafood. Um, and I am I'm generally picky about seafood. Uh, but anyways, let's give it a shot. Lime, it's limey. This is probably the best version of know. this we're gonna get. I think that tastes pretty dang good. <laughs> mm. There's definitely an aftertaste of fish though, you're right. Yeah. I didn't taste the fish at first, but then it was like, it just hit. Because first the lime. First the lime, the fish was a little later. I'll come back to you on that one. I gotta try the other ones to give you my true opinion on this one. It is a little fishy. Not as spicy as I thought. It could come in 10, 20 seconds, so. That's really good. It's a good mix of flavors. Just had enough spice. The tostada has sesame seeds in it, which is a nice flavor. The shrimp is delicious. What else is in this? What isn't in that? Look at that thing. This one has raw fish in it, or cooked by lime fish. So I'm kind of curious about this. This is not something I would normally order, I don't think. Um, I think I'd rather go shrimp or tuna. But. Is this the fish? No, that's... That's jicama. That's jicama. That's the fish. Looks green. I feel like this is a bad idea. There's a lot of different types of food. My stomach's gonna hurt tomorrow. Come Anything though. for you guys. Very different than the other one. This other one was like spicy and like... I don't know a good word. Like heavy. This one is light and refreshing. I think there's like... Is that cilantro in there? Yeah, and the jicama, apple. Apple. It's like my first bite. My first thoughts were like green, fresh. So it's so different from that other one. Mm. I don't know. If, I don't know where I place it on the. Mm. That one's got to be the winner for me. The tuna is delicious. The cacahuate on the sesame seed tostada is a really good combination. I love cucumber, nice fresh flavor. And like all of this is extremely healthy, so I'm gonna eat probably three and a half or five of these bowls. There's only five here. Four and a half to four to four and a half of these bowls, and my stomach might hurt tomorrow, but I can at least know it was healthy. We're gonna finish up all five of these bowls. And then we'll give you guys our final review of my first day of trying ceviche. Final thoughts on ceviche slash la mara. Let me start by saying I have this theory about food that like a food, how do I explain it? Some foods are just better than others. For example, I can't think of, uh, okay, a, a, a concha, a concha, <laughs> and a donut. Now, I love conchas, but a 10 out of 10 concha versus a 10 out of 10 donut, like the very best donut in the world versus the very best concha, okay. I'm gonna pick una dona. I think a donut is just better. So, that's my theory. Okay. So with that said, I wouldn't put ceviche as a whole probably anywhere in my, definitely not in my top five Mexican food, probably not in my top 10. So I enjoy the ceviche, however, it's not something I feel like I yeah. have like a, like a craving for very often. Maybe I just haven't had a 10 out of 10 ceviche. These uh, were really good, although I feel like if, if there was a place in Vallarta that had the best ceviche. Right. I feel like this is it. I feel like this is a 10 yeah. out of 10. It has amazing reviews. We've heard nothing but great yeah. recommendations. Recommended uh, by by Willie and Rita uh, yep. from Salud Superfood and they are they are foodie experts. So if they yeah. say it's good, we know it's good. good. However, I think I'm just I think I'm just a taco person. Tacos, enchiladas, and mole. You guys will still nogada, accept us in Vallarta. <laughs> You guys will still accept us in Vallarta, right? But this video is not about my opinion. It's about... That's right. Well, opinion. as we were talking, I actually thought about something. And Greg and I did not grow up going to Mexican beach towns. But I almost wonder if eating ceviche is more about 
not more about, but also about the nostalgia and what it means to eat ceviche. It means you're with your family. It means maybe your mom made it and you bring a huge bowl of it to Bayarda in the summer or Mazatlan or... Um, I don't, I don't know. That's I so almost true. wonder if there's, it's like that. There's certain know? foods, there's certain restaurants and certain foods that automatically bring back certain memories. Yeah. And I think for a lot of people, ceviche yeah. could like be it. it. Like so it kind of goes us. along with the beach. Yeah. I don't know. I could be wrong. We need you I guys to tell it. us. If I ever get the hankering for a ceviche, which could happen because I, I do enjoy seafood, yeah. especially the tuna, we will definitely you know, be coming not. back to La Mata. My final review, are you ready for the final final, final review? Final, final, final review, I give the quality of food a 9 out of 10. That includes the atmosphere, everything. Uh, for my personal food official rating, I give this a 5 out of 10. I'm not a ceviche person, I'm sorry. You tried it. Please don't be mad at me. I tried it. I tried it. Mama, I tried. Something that you should know about us is that we strive for balance in our lives. Lives? No nice. life? That was just a little too healthy. <laughs> balance. Now I feel. I feel Life's all about it. <laughs> well, you tried it. I'm proud of you. Aww. Thank you, my love. <laughs> Fishy kiss. <laughs> we learned that maybe ceviche isn't really your thing. Yeah. And maybe it's it's not my favorite thing either. Actually, is I think I learned something today. But okay. might not be the worst thing I've ever tried. That's probably what you're gonna comment. <laughs> yeah. Comment you below. Guys gotta give him something good. Let me know. Tell me what I must try. What I have to try. Yeah. And uh, well, I'll try it. You have anything else for the people at home? I think that's it. You guys drop some good comments for what you want. This is your chance. Greg says he eats anything. This is your one big chance. See you tomorrow.